Hey there everybody, this is Piper here, and today we're playing more Banished. This is actually going to be a tutorial video. I've um, been playing this game for a, about two weeks, and uh, one of the last achievements I had to get was called Mountain Men. And this is going to be a tutorial video on how to get that achievement. So basically I've got all the achievements, and Mountain Men was the last one I got, I believe. So we'll just look at this, if we, can, if we can find it that is. It's basically, you're playing on a small map. The weather is harsh, the climate's harsh. So here it is here. Using a harsh climate and a small mountainous map, maintain a population of 50 people for 20 years. So I know some people had problem with this uh, achievement. Um, obviously the map's quite small, it's quite mountainous. Uh, it can be a bit tricky, um, depending which map it is. Uh, I got this achievement on the first time, and I'll just go th through some of the tips I used. Um, you really need to make use of uh, the herds, the pastures, and fisheries. Uh, you can't rely too much on agriculture, and what I found is the, the harsh climate you will be required to build a mine and a quarry as well uh, because you don't get too many supplies from the trading post of stone. So you need to make use of all the different ways of getting food. Um, basically any areas that you can make a gathering hut. Gathering is the best way of getting food in the game. The workers get a higher proportion of productivity as a gatherer. So any A's at this area here, um, a very good area for a gathering hut. Especially over here as well. Obviously it's not ideal, but it's the best location. So I've got one, two, I think about four, four gathering huts, I think. Uh, I've got two herbalists. That's, an, that's another thing in the, the harsh climate. It's a lot harder getting herbs for medicine. So you want to make sure you build more than enough herbalists and any areas you can use for a gathering hut and the hunting cabin. Definitely make use of them. And because the, the climate is quite harsh, there'll be times when uh, your food supply will be quite low. Uh, some years are better than others. So the good thing about pastures is that you can you can change uh, how much, how many animals to keep. So say if you have a bit of a, a drought in the food, the hunt, the gatherers didn't get enough food or something bad happened, you can decrease this back and basically sl slaughter more of the animals but get more food in that year. So that, that gives you options there to alter how much food your pastures make. And that's a really beneficial option there. Uh, because that allows you the, the option to basically some years gain more food in years where you have a, a more food, cut it back a little bit. Uh, make sure your your population's educated and make sure you have enough uh, firewood. And even though the, the achievement is 50 people for 20 years, uh, the nature of the game, uh, you're always going to have peaks and troughs. So you really want to be aiming to get about 85 people to 100, I, I would recommend. Just to be on the safe side in case you have a, a population decrease. And it only takes uh, the population to go under 50 once and you have to restart again. So make the best use of the, the land that there is. Definitely, this is quite a good map for me. Uh, I built beside a big lake, so I was able to get... Uh, two fisheries there that produce a lot of food. I mean, that was producing over a thousand, one thousand two hundred per season. So make use of all the resor uh, the resources you have. Uh, definitely. I mean, I don't really build a lot of fish fisheries in the past, but if you have the the space there, definitely make use of it. So hopefully you've learned something from this tutorial. Um, obviously not all the maps are like this, they're, they're all different, but if you just take away some of the points that I've given, 
hopefully they've helped you a little bit. So thanks for watching this Banish tutorial. Stay tuned for more. I plan to do others. This is Piper signing off.